Number nine is, is a personal favorite of mine. Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay. Let me just uh, talk about Vietnam real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. For me, two things I like about Vietnam. Straight facts. Number one, Vietnam, 7% divorce rate. That's a seven. 7% 7 divorce rate in Vietnam. Okay. Vietnamese girls are smoke shows. All right. Vietnamese girls are a little bit thicker than other Asian girls. They have really good curves and not like rapper music video curves, like normal, like that's attractive curves. Okay. And the 7% divorce rate is, is, is very good. And then another thing too is the obesity rate in Vietnam, I think is like 9%. So you're literally in a country where 91% of the women are thin and in good shape. And in addition to that, right, the, the, everything that you do there is so cheap. Okay. Vietnam is super cheap. And you're my thinking, I'm going to go into the jungles and there's going to be fucking people with machetes chasing me and, and like, it's going to be Vietnam war all over again. It's not the case. One interesting thing about the Vietnamese is they don't have a complex about Americans because they beat us in the Vietnamese war. I mean, the mm -hmm. Vietnam war was clear, clear L for America. Um, I went down to Saigon, right? Ho Chi Minh City, whichever you want to call it. And dude, the food is amazing. The vibe is amazing. And if you're a digital entrepreneur, or digital nomad, there's actually a big hub of people down there in Vietnam that are, you know, living for cheap and building big projects. I don't know if you guys remember the game Flappy Bird back in the day. Remember Flappy Bird? That was actually created by a Vietnamese developer. Um, he was making like, Dude, I think at the peak of that, he was making like eighty thousand dollars a day. A day. And I heard he like was not into it or something. Well, he he turned it off because so many people on TikTok and Instagram were like, "I'm dying from a flappy bird addiction," and he like let it all get to his head. I think he made a couple million, then he turned it off. But I mean, it's an awesome hub. Uh, Vietnamese pho is delicious. Um, Bun mi sandwiches are delicious. So if you're gonna go stay in Vietnam, uh, you could get a place for rent in Vietnam if you live there anywhere between 500 to 900 dollars a month for like a nice one bedroom apartment that's like modern clean what running water um they have a system they have a delivery service there like their equivalent of uber called grab g-r-a-b and you can have food delivered to you you can ride a taxi you can ride a motorcycle taxi motorcycle taxis like you can travel like 10 miles on a motorcycle taxi for like what like five bucks mm -hmm. you know <laughs> get there super fast um I love Vietnam. I went there in 2019. I also went to a luxury resort in Vietnam on an island called Phu Quoc. Flew a train, uh, flew a plane there. Went to Phu Quoc Island, and um, I was staying at the Marriott. It was gorgeous, super cheap. They had a casino on the site. I don't gamble, um, so I didn't go. But like, you know, if you guys like gamble, I mean, if I if I do gamble, I, I like play. I got I'll play poker or blackjack, but um, typically not a gambler. But it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of good stuff and. The thing about Vietnam, that's great. It's like very safe. Like Asia in general is safe. Yeah. yeah. Like South America, you have to like watch out where you're going some places. Like you're not going to get, like maybe if you go to like, we don't have Cambodia on the list. They call it Scambodia. You know, Cambodia, like, yeah, yeah, probably going to get. Yeah, yeah, I've been there a couple of times. It just, you know, it didn't make the list. Anything to add about Vietnam? Um, no, I think that, you know, Vietnam is really inexpensive. And, you know, a part of like the passport bro philosophy is uh, enjoying the benefits of countries being much cheaper and just like watching your dog, your, your dollar go farther. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we, we talked about yesterday, my trainer charges me $13 an hour mm -hmm. and his charge is a hundred dollars an hour. So that's the kind of like difference you can experience when you go to places like Vietnam. Um, you know, uh, not a whole lot to say. Pretty girls, inexpensive. Uh, I think it's expat friendly, you know, mm -hmm. and um, overall solid option for someone who's wanting to do the uh, the single man, the single nomad lifestyle. Yeah. Looks like we got Justine. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, Vietnam, look, dude, Vietnam is, I cannot express. Okay. Like first things first, let's go back to the things we were talking about yesterday. What makes a good girl, right? The low divorce rate, I mean, 7% divorce rate, dude. That is huge. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese fam families are everywhere. Bro, when I went to Vietnam, did you realize that there's fucking kids everywhere? Like, it's just kids. They are just having tons of kids out there. 
Um, good thing about Vietnam too, there's a there's a three headed race of countries rushing into Vietnam and modernizing the hell out of it. That is China, that is Korea, and that is Japan. They are sending people in. They have low cost of work there. There's a lot of steel that's made in Vietnam, and these um these countries are they're seeing the opportunity there. And again, I talk about like you know the ten the 10, 20 year plan, like there's still 10 to 20 good years left in these countries before theoretically the cost of living may or may not go up. Um, it is slightly getting more expensive, but like if you live in San Francisco and you're paying like $4,000 a month for a one bedroom studio, dude, if you can work remote and head over to Vietnam, you'll save so much money. You'll be with way quality, way higher quality women than in San Francisco or anywhere in America, quite frankly. Um, the good thing that I like about Vietnamese girls too is like you have to work to survive in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So these girls like they're not lazy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They have a work ethic. When you have a work ethic, this is a good thing in general. A lot of like I don't know me personally. I just I can't deal with lazy girls.